Hey, it's Shelly from Best Buy's blog. I've just installed the Misa Smart Thermostat version 2. I have several Misa thermostats in my house. I've been using the version 1 for a couple of years now, so this is my first experience with version 2. First impressions of version 2 are that I absolutely love the smaller design. It lets me fit the Misa thermostat in places where I couldn't fit the original version. And it has a few other features that are different from version 1 as well. Before I get to the differences, I'm going to unbox the Misa version 2 and just show you what's included in the box. You'll find your manual and you'll definitely want to hang on to that because it has a QR code that you'll need to install the Misa with your app. I really like the white design of Misa Smart Thermostats. I've always had the dial thermostats or I originally had the dial thermostats in my home. I do also have the Misa Smart Thermostat for mini splits and air conditioners, so take a look for that review video as well. And I've been using that with my mini split. So right now my electric baseboard heat is a backup source of heat, it's not my main source of heat anymore. And uh, it's still nice though to have the smart thermostats throughout the home just because I can visually see what the temperature is in any given area of my home. And there's so many different areas with so many different individual baseboard heaters that it just keeps the whole home connected. So this is the area where I installed the Misa Smart Thermostat version 2 and as you can see it is right up against a wall unit so I had a hard time having any type of thermostat there at all and uh, so the first step I did was pull off my old thermostat, it was an old dial thermostat and take a look at the wiring configuration on the back of the Misa and there are different instructions for different wiring configurations so even if yours doesn't look like mine or it's completely different you can easily install it just by following the app. You'll need to loosen the bottom screw on the base plate and the base plate comes off. Don't completely remove that screw though, it's a little hard to put back in. I already knew which wires would attach to which wires in my wall so it was a quick and easy install. It was just black to black and red to white. The green light indicates that the Misa is receiving power so I have correctly installed it and uh, then I just attached the screws so that it was attached to the gang box and once I did that I could put the faceplate back on. The Misa Smart Thermostat will give a happy little smile when it is ready to start pairing and this is what you'll see when you go into pairing mode. When you're in pairing mode you'll need to open the app and as I mentioned before keep the manual close by because you'll need to scan that QR code and you do have two install options. You can install it through HomeKit or you can install it through Misa. I always choose to install it through Misa because I just feel like in my house HomeKit seems to take over a little bit so I like the Misa option a lot better. So there are a few differences between Misa version 1 and Misa version 2. I've already mentioned how much smaller it is and it does fit in this area really well which is nice because I could never get another thermostat in there before. I did try getting a Misa in there and it was too big. So I do like the smaller size. I like the adaptive light monitor and the wake on approach. So if you come up close to it, it will light up uh, brighter and then if you step away from it, it will go slightly dimmer. All of these options are available within the Misa app. So here's a look at just setting up the different thermostats in the Misa app. I have a few of them that are online and uh, some of them were disconnected from Wi-Fi at the time, but anyway, you get the idea. And the hallway is the new, the Misa version 2. So it will show you the current temperature and it will show you the humidity. You can turn your heat off or on. You can set a schedule for your heat, which I absolutely love, especially since that these are backup baseboard heaters for me. That means if my mini split isn't able to heat the different areas in my home, which I have found, I've only had the mini split for about a year now, not quite a year. So I have found that there are definitely areas in the home where the mini split doesn't really reach. It's only designed for the central areas in the home. So when I have the Misa thermostat set for a set point of say 18 degrees, whenever it hits that point, my baseboard heaters kick in and it's completely scheduled and automated. So I don't even have to think about it. My home just stays warm. Version 2 does have the adaptive brightness as I mentioned 
and uh, there's different options there. I sometimes like to have my heat set in Fahrenheit. Um, anybody can set it though to Celsius if that's what you like. And this is the different set point temperatures. So I have it set so that it can't go lower than 18, but I don't want it to go higher than 24 either. I keep my mini split thermostat separate from everything, but you can create zones with version one and version two where you can have a set point that is the same throughout your home. I don't do that just because my rooms feel very separate and I would rather just have them controlled individually, but you can definitely do that. Another difference between Mesa version one and version two is the heat relay. Version two uses relay technology and there is an audible click when the heat kicks in. I love that audible click. It's the only thing I liked from the dial thermostats because it told me that my heat, my electric baseboard heat was turning on. I love having Mesa Smart thermostats. I wouldn't choose any other kind for my baseboard heat as well as my mini split. It's such a great whole home heating system and everything just works together so seamlessly. It also pairs with your voice assistant. So if I wanted to, I can control my heat with my Google Assistant. They look great. Version two is 40% smaller than version one. So it does fit in anywhere. You can see my full written review of Misa Smart Thermostat version two at Best Buy's blog. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.